Okay, really quick intro to Darktable. This is an image, a raw file, which looks flat and lifeless compared to the JPEG, which is kind of vibrant and, and colorful. So the first thing you can do if you just want a quick solution is to use the camera profiles in Darktable, which will get you fairly close to the JPEG. I find sometimes it overbakes things and it's best to do things by hand, but if you want a quick solution, you go down to the bottom left here and you have this icon here which is Darktable camera styles so you can just select the camera and bang exposure everything color everything is adjusted to look fairly close to the standard in this case OM system JPEG if you're happy with that that's perfect I like to have a little bit more control, so let's go back to where we were. Again, straight out of camera JPEG. I then have my typical workflow set up in the panel on the right hand side. Let's just zoom in a bit. And I suggest with this panel, there's so many modules in Darktable, you'll probably forget the ones you need or the, what, the names of the ones and you're constantly searching and clicking around trying to find the module in, in all of these tabs here. So. I suggest you customize the layout, manage presets, create your own and just have your own workflow here so you don't have to be constantly searching for things. So I would suggest you start with similar uh, to me, which would be local contrast, tone curve, color balance RGB, sharpen, potentially crop and rotate and perspective. The others are kind of optional and you can adjust these to, to match your own workflow. So working down these, in my case, uh, the first thing I will do, well, first thing I will do is adjust this exposure up here to make sure that the, the full range of the tones are, are covered and it's not overexposed and not underexposed just by dragging this. In this case, it's fairly, fairly well shot, even though it's just a snapshot in a kind of alleyway in, in Japan. <laughs> so, oops. First thing I'll do, local contrast enhancement. You can see that just kind of lifts the contrast a bit. I Most of the values in Darktable are set at pretty reasonable values, so you shouldn't need to adjust it too much, but you can. So contrast, tone curve. I don't want to adjust the, the lights and the darks, but I will lift the kind of mid mid-tones just to brighten up the image overall. Doesn't need a huge amount. I'll then go down to color balance RGB. Uh, you can just do a standard or I typically boost the shadows more than everything else, but that's just my style. Sharpen. Uh, in my case, I don't need to do anything else. So again, that's got us fairly close to the, the, the camera JPEG. You can do a lot more, but that's like the, the quick way to do these things. If you're in light table view, uh, you can select multiple images and you can apply the camera style profile using this tab here. You can select multiple and then apply it to, to many. And if you've done manual adjustments, you can select one, copy the history stack, which is all the changes you've made. And if you've got other images which were shot in the same lighting conditions and you need to make the same changes, you can just copy the history stack select a number of photos and then paste to the history stack and it will make the same changes to all the images you've selected. If you only want to do selective paste, then you can do a selective paste and you can say, I just want to apply sharpen color balance and, and nothing else. So you can unselect everything else. Uh, I think that's it. It's a lot easier than it looks. Uh, you just need to adjust your way of working and customize the menus so that you're not const constantly hunting for modules and forgetting the names, which is, is what I do. I hope that's helpful. I'll probably make a proper video on this at some point in the future, but this is just a, a five, minute, five minute intro. Yeah, four minutes, 30 seconds. There you go. You're welcome.